the beavers came to Banff in 2002, there were two Norwegian beavers that were brought up from England that had been imported from Norway. And we had a male and a female. We put them into um, the further, furthest western end of this area. And the, the reason for doing it was um, to restore wetland on our land and to support the Scottish government's aspiration to bring, return the beaver to Scotland. They both sadly died. Um, one of them of felling a tree on herself, which was very, very sad, and identified, um, the bruising was identified by the, the vet, you know, they sent off the body for autopsy. And the other one, it was um, liver fluke, actually. So we had to sort of start again. We had some two black Polish ones were sisters, so, and then another female was sent to us. And anyway, it took a while, but eventually we had two breeding families um, by about the mid to late 2000s. They've been here ever since. And now you have how many? Three families, so about um, 18, probably. Depending on how good the habitat is, they might have up to a kilometre of waterway per family. I mean, they obviously are breeding. We see kits every year. Um, so there will be, at this point, they're no longer enclosed. And so the dispersers are dispersing outwards. And sadly, we have no control over what becomes of them. Um, they're now a protected species, but on some farms, um, they have um, special licenses, which allows them to shoot them. So if they go down onto the low ground farms, where they do actually come into the most conflict, um, then in some cases they may be shot, sadly. Is there anything we, the public, can do about that? Yes, I, I, that's a good question. Um, well, we are, well, I suppose vigilance is always something, but in the, in the areas where they are protected, um, then it's good to get um, knowledge of any beaver families that appear to have disappeared. Um, because then that can be reported to RSPCA, SSPCA actually, I mean, um, and SNH. Um, in the low ground where um, they have licenses to, licenses to kill, um, yes, we will be, we and other organisations will be, um, and are campaigning for, um, to improve the legislation, to help reduce the number of licenses and to get more mitigation in place and more relocation and we're also going to campaign um, to get um, the Scottish Government to lift its, in, its um, embargo on relocation to other parts of Scotland. We would like that to become um, a thing that can happen and so then where there is real conflict they won't have to be shot, they can be removed to places where they will be just beneficial, like here actually.